Hey, what's up? Nasir Malik here. Welcome to another IoT tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be adding Wi-Fi to Arduino Uno and have access to additional GPIOs. So you're going to need following parts. We need uh, Arduino Uno, uh, a Dune Channel Relay. Um, I'm using four channel. I'm just going to be using two channel for it. So it's the same. Um, need Alexa, Echo, or Echo Dot. A node MCU, some breadboard wires, and of course the USB cables for both of these to flash them. So ideas here, once you uh, give uh, any command to Alexa, it's going to send uh, commands to the master, which is the node MCU. It's going to get these commands. Uh, we're using the Vimo spoof, and it's going to take a look at the command, and whatever commands are mapped to execute locally, it's going to execute on these uh, GPIOs. Um, but whatever is mapped to the um, UNO, it's going to send those commands to UNO and execute stuff that is connected to UNO. And this tutorial will going to be just doing one-way communication where uh, this is uh, getting all the commands uh, and forwarding them to UNO to be uh, able to execute them and stuff. And the next tutorial will do the both ways where it sends the commands here and then it gets a response back. So here's a connection diagram for the um, Node MCU and uh, Adreno Uno. So we're going to be using the wire uh, library for I2C protocol. So it's very easy and simple to hook this up. So basically uh, D1, which is uh, GPIO5, gets connected to A4 on Adreno Uno, which is SDA also. And uh, the D2 will be connected to the SCL or A5. Here, I'm using the breadboard wires to connect these two. And they're female to male breadboard wires. And then you would just basically connect ground to ground. So it's very simple, straightforward. Next, we're gonna be hooking up our relay to both boards. So on the relay, you're gonna see a ground pin here, a VCC pin, and then channel one and channel two. I'm connecting ground to the ground of Uno as a um, and also the VCC um, the VCC to 5 volt um, here since this is 5 volt uh, relays and um, also the channel 1 I'm connecting to the uh, GPIO 3 or pin 3 and the second channel I'm connecting to the um, D0 which is GPIO 16 on node MCU so let's say in the, uh, I want to be able to control one device from UNO and one device from uh, Node MCU. So in this case, uh, the wiring diagram for each channel right here, based on the previous diagram, uh, I'm going to connect the hot wire uh, to this uh, open pole right here on the left hand side on each of this. So this wire get connected to both. Uh, this is a hot wire. So the first channel uh, middle pole goes to this bulb first one and then the second channel middle pole goes to the second bulb one here. So by default uh, these two poles are on open position. So you guys need to go to this github project. Um, I will add the link for this project in the video description below. So you need these two sketches. Uh, the This one is for the Arduino Uno and this one is for the uh, Node MCU. First, you will open up Arduino Uno Slave Sketch, and it's pretty simple. It doesn't have much. It um, includes a couple of libraries. It's uh, setting up the wire on receive method, and uh, and uh, it's going to uh, trigger this uh, function right here uh, when it receives the data from the master, and it just uh, very simple. It loops through it and. Uh, gets all the character arrays and uh, puts it into a string and basically prints it out on a console and then it calls this uh, function right here and uh, this is basically uh, doing is parsing the JSON command and once it gets the GPIO number and the state it needs to set it simply executes it so right now I only added a single um, a GPIO uh, three. So you can add more GPIOs and set the uh, uh, mode to output like I have. You can copy paste and change the pin number. 
you don't have to change this code because based on what you're sending from master it will just execute this so you won't need to modify this function right here you just need to add initial gpios that you want to use so this is a very simple uh, script so to uh, flash it basically you go into and select your board and right here adreno uno and you will select the port uh, i'm using the com 20 and you can just go ahead and flash the sketch it should be pretty fast so it's done so next thing you need to do is open up your uh, node mcu script make sure your node mcu is connected to your computer and put in your um, ssid and ssid password for the uh, pin uh, relay one i'm using pin 16 on a node mcu which is d0 and I'm not using this pin because I'm reusing this sketch from a, an older tutorial so I left it as is I don't want to uh, clean it up because we're probably going to use it in the future for now uh, I'm just going to use this and um, also uh, here D1 D2 wire I'm using for the communication with the node MCU uh, these are the uh, node MCU pins um, communicating with UNO uh, and uh, so here basically I have two um, so I'm simulating two devices one is gonna be controlled by the node MCU right here locally it's gonna be on and off and the other one is gonna be controlled by the Arduino Uno so if it gets a command for this um, um, device which is office lights it's gonna turn on and off the relay that is connected to node MCU if it gets a kitchen lights command turn on and off it's gonna turn on and off the relay that is connected to Arduino Uno so the difference is that this one is setting the uh, GPIO locally with the digital write setting it high to low or low to high and for the kitchen lights is actually uh, going to use uh, wire library to communicate uh, on address 8 and send this JSON um, payload and it's gonna uh, end the communication so this is happening on the uh, kitchen lights turn on uh, for the kitchen lights turn on it's sending GPIO 3 with state 1 and for the turn off it's sending GPIO 3 and state 0 so one means on, zero means off. And nice thing about it is later on on a, a future tutorial, we can just probably just replace this to whatever GPIO and we don't need to have a extra special handling um, on to the UNO side. It would automatically be, you know, setting the GPIO high and low. So that is the only difference uh, that I have in this sketch than the one of the previous ones I did for for the node MCU multiple devices. So once you flash this, um, you should be good to go. Alexa, turn off kitchen lights. Okay. Alexa, turn on kitchen lights. Okay. Alexa, turn on office lights. Okay. Alexa, turn off office lights. Okay. Alexa, turn on office lights. Okay. So since we're using um, active low relays, that means it turns on on negative and uh, turns off on positive. Uh, very simple solution. On the uh, Node MCU, you can switch the high to low and low to high like this. So once it uh, gets an on command, it's going to set the GPI to low. And that means the relay will be turned on. I know it's a little bit confusing, but just try that. And on the other side, uh, you will basically switch 1 to 0. So 0 for the on uh, function and 1 for the off function. And uh, go ahead and flash this. And it should work fine. Alexa, turn on office lights. Okay. Alexa. Turn off office lights. Okay. Alexa, 
Turn on kitchen lights. Okay. Alexa, turn off kitchen lights. Okay. So, okay guys, this was very simple to add a Wi-Fi functionality to Arduino Uno and add additional GPIOs. Uh, we can use a similar uh, method to add as many GPIOs as we want. So, this is it for this tutorial. Until next time, bye.